Uh, yes, Savan. Uh, in fact, today uh, the Miram Taran who was uh, allegedly abducted by the Chinese PLF from Upper Siang area of Arunachal Pradesh has been handed over. Though the Chinese PLF refuted the allegations of uh, abduction, uh, it is a well-established fact that Miram Taran indeed uh, uh, disappeared from Upper Siang area of Arunachal Pradesh, and later on the Chinese PLF admitted. That uh, he has been located in uh, China, and a hotline was uh, established uh, on day two of uh, when the incident was uh, reported. Even as many political parties tried to uh, muscling each other, making it a political issue, the Indian Army and the PLA had established a hotline, and there was regular communication uh, between both uh, the countries. And as a result of this hotline communication uh, today, Miram Tarun was uh, handed over to the Indian Army, and uh, now we are picking up that all the due processes and the protocols which are laid down are being followed. And as you all so know that uh, due to uh, the COVID scenario, uh, due to the pandemic scenario, there has been certain uh, set of protocols on international travellers, and all these protocols. And the quarantine measures that are required will be uh, duly followed. This has been uh, informed by the sources in the Indian Army, uh, though not much of this uh, information has yet been revealed as where this handing over has taken place. Uh, all this uh, information are yet to be revealed by the army. But yes, uh, sources have also uh, sources in Arunachal Pradesh have also confirmed us that uh, within a week. Also, uh, Miram Taran will be reuniting with his family back in Arunachal Pradesh. Sawal. Anurad, they're uh, giving us details of the handover because this certainly is a big development. Chinese PLA has handed over the young boy from Arunachal Pradesh, Miram Taran, to the Indian Army and Union Minister Kiran Rijiju, who's put out details on of the same, but Anurad also telling us how uh, it could take about a week for the boy to unite with his family. And uh, given the COVID protocol also, procedures that are still in place. Anurad, if I can come back to you, because this is really a story that will be remembered uh, in the time to come of uh, the kind of equation between India and China of how the two armies uh, spoke with each other, established a hotline and the very fact that the boy has reached safely back uh, on the Indian side and uh, will be handed over to his family is something that will hold a lot of uh, importance even in the time to come. Uh, yes, uh, definitely. In, in fact, uh, even in the last uh, two years or so, this is the second time that, that uh, such hotline was established between the armies of uh, both the uh, countries. And um, after uh, repeated hotline communication, um, the, the entire crisis has been uh, sorted out and solved uh, amicably. In fact, uh, if you remember, earlier also three youths from Upper Suban City area of Arunachal Pradesh uh, went missing and uh, later they were also located in uh, China and later on they were uh, handed over to the Indian Army 